All right, so sometime around 6.30 a.m. this morning, I just took some time and I was like, you know, let me just surf the internet. I landed on this man's page. I just went on and on, touching every photo and video I was just checking out and trying to create my own story uh, around his lifestyle. But guess what? Like they say, dreams come true. I may have dreamt it, and the next thing I knew, bam, he was in GH. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Welcome to another spectacular, wonderful location, and I'd like to make it a bit formal because this is going to be a very formally informal conversation, but you are so <laughs> welcome to the show. I'm just goofing around. You know what? Welcome the man, Pato Rankin in the building! <laughs> bro! Yeah! What's good, bro? Serious, so I was like, you know, I was just... I was what were you doing at 6 o'clock? Oh, I mean, like, bro, like, boys are up, you know. Boys, boys, they up at that time. So Money matter or different matter? <laughs> Boys are bread. <laughs> <laughs> but same time, six thirty. You were you were up as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I needed to be up, man. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to get caught up in the Lagos traffic. Uh -huh. <laughs> On a regular day, what time does a party rankings day start? Um. Okay. In all honesty, yeah. I, I, however, I'm living now started like about six years ago. Okay. So when I decided to move the studio away from the house mm. to his own space, its own space. You know, so like we got an office space that's okay. where the building is, and we decided to run it as a formal business, in okay. your words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and that means it's a nine to five business. Mm -hmm. So I have to be up at least eight, nine. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Oh. Businessman lifestyle. Exactly. So, so a party ranking goes to work. The business of music, yeah, you know, I music like that. business. I like that. I mean, I mean, you hardly would hear um, artists put it in that. In that yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like a free. Because the the, the perception is thing. that you know an artist will sleep in the day and in the night to get to work, but you'd hardly hear, you know, the business. Yeah, yeah. I I used to be like that, you know, but it ended after my first album, mm. which was in um, 2016. Mm. Yeah, we we needed to give it a different approach. We needed to be more serious, you know. What what made you? Um, well, you, you you've hinted on the fact that you wanted to be more serious. Um, yeah. But what really made you decide that you know what? Let me what, let me take this as a business, than just um, you know freestyle, freestyle something that. Yeah, I I needed to see it that way because it changed my life. You know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he gave me a life, and I, I just have to treat it with respect. It's only right. I I take care of what take, takes care of me. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. That was yeah, what we did. I like, I like those lyrics, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, take, I take care, I of, take what care of what takes care of me. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. There, there is a, a video that uh, Pat Rankin posted. So, you see now, you, you catch me. He posted on his uh, timeline about his... Uh, it was him and his mother and some boys. Yeah, man, yeah. You know. back, back then, back then, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when, when you look at yourself, you know, on that whole journey, because it's like the things your mom said... that's coming like, to fruition. Yeah. 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 You know, I was coming from a place where... Um, the chances of making it is very slim, mm -hmm. you know, and the only option you have is making it. Mm -hmm. You can't even say, I can't make it, because that's where you are, you know, so the only option you have was making it. No mm -hmm. plan B. It's no plan, plan B, just, you know, all or nothing, yeah. you know, and that was the mindset I grew up with, saying, you know, when I get to realize who I was, mm -hmm. the man I wanted to become, I said, no way, like, this place is not where I belong. Mm -hmm. So... I started seeing things as though they were, which is fate, you know, putting fate to work and, you know, uh, the rest of my history. Yeah. What, what would it have been if it wasn't for music? What, what would Pastor Rankin be doing? Football. Oh, football? Yeah, maybe right. I'll be playing for Arsenal now. Let me go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hold you to that. You said football, that's great, yeah. right? But those who know you way back know that you had a love for dance as well. Exactly. Right. Oh, that's some so, throwback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to blow everything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my brother, you go, you go, you, you go choose dance for me instead of footballer. I don't, don't want to ask for <laughs> No way. So I know that passion is passion, right? Yeah. So you had that passion for dance, and then music took over and everything, and Arsenal yeah. didn't come. So, <laughs> so I want to know, like, what was it for you? Do you ever feel like you 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 had to choose between two talents that you were gifted with? Or was it like a natural choice that it's music, let me kill it? No, that's a good one. I remember vividly in the ghetto, I was doing all three at the same time. I was right. dancing 
playing football, hmm. doing music. That'd be hustle. You hmm. know, yeah, like, yeah. and coming from the ghetto, like, it's boundless talent, yeah. it's countless mm -hmm. talent. Like, people are doing stuff, yeah. you know. And I remember one fateful evening, my friend said, ah, when it's football, you go play. Music, you go play. Dance, dance. You go dance. You go dance. Mm -hmm. So, do something, just find one, follow, you know. Yeah. And it was just, we're just having, like, a normal conversation. Mm -hmm. and that just came in passing. Mm -hmm. Then I held on to it, you know. I went back home. Um, to be honest, it was it was it was it was tough mm -hmm. because I was back then in school. I was playing for. I, I played at the principal cup. So mm -hmm. principal cup is after the principal cup. It's amateur. Then um, oh, so football was yeah. Like, so it was like it's yeah. not like you just play on no, Sundays. No, I was I was actually <laughs> playing active. football. Oh yeah, well, like, no, no, not yeah. after church kick about no, 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 no. I was football. I was really oh. active. So like you have the principal cup, which was um, the secondary school. Then you go to the um, amateur. Then there is I think there is um, there is semi pro. There is division two. Then the division one. Mm -hmm. So for me, I was close, and I knew I was gonna get there. Mm -hmm. You know, and. For dancing, I was already dancing in some ghetto music videos, mm -hmm. you know, and singing. I was already performing in pubs and um, bars and mm -hmm. places mm -hmm. like yeah, that, street cool. carnivals yeah. and stuff. I was already the star in the hood, you know. And I said, this is actually, I was in a state of Delhi, I don't know where to go to, you know. I went home that night, I prayed to God. I said, God, just show me what you want me to become. Did you for a split second ever think that this party ranking was going to be there like i said i mean did you i i know every day tell everybody that are you, you also yeah. surprised <laughs> <laughs> nah that's why i'm not that's why i'm not moved though i'm not faced mm -hmm. with um wherever level i am now you know because i've always known i'll make it mm -hmm. like i said mm -hmm. earlier the only option i had was making it yeah. mm -hmm. you know so yeah it's just like it's life uh, you see people, they make money and they, they start misbehaving. Mm -hmm. I tell them that, I say, maybe they were not, they didn't know they were going to make it. Yeah. But if you, if you, if you had always known that, you will be that guy. Mm -hmm. So, no matter the level you get to, you would always be humble. Yeah. You know, and that was it for me. So, I, I, I prayed to God that night and I said, God, just show me. And I found myself singing, I don't need a soothsayer to come tell me. Yeah. And from that day, that was it. You said something about faith, right? Yeah. Which I think is very powerful, speaking words to life. Mm -hmm. But in the context of your experiences around faith, yeah. you, 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 you were in Ghana for a, a period of time. Yeah. And then you moved out of Ghana for a period of time. And yeah. different things happened in different zones. Do you think it was just faith? Or do you think the elements around you also fired up the faith and the manifestation yeah. of the vision that you had for yourself? Um, I'm a firm believer of time. And I believe great things takes time, mm -hmm. you know. So at a point where I I knew where I was back then, and I was, you know, I was not really happy was because I was still growing, you know. Um, the place I actually put faith to work was the track that actually said, okay, it's go time for Pato, which was mm -hmm. Alubarika. Mm -hmm. Alubarika means God blessings, mm -hmm. you know. So if you listen to the lyrics of that song, I said. I said, man, I move from nothing to something. That was my story. Every day we pop in something, we give God the glory. Mm -hmm. You know, Alubarika, Alubarika, from Lagos down to America. Alub mm -hmm. You know, I was just saying things as though they were, which is faith. And I, I didn't even have a passport then. Yeah, but look so at that. You know, and I was saying from Lagos to, to America. America. Without passport. You know, I didn't <laughs> even, through. yes, like, yeah. I didn't even know, yeah. I didn't even know I was, um, um, and tomorrow I was going to, I was going to work with Timaya, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I was saying, yes, I have a record label now and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So for me, it was just, um, th that has been the person I've, I've always been, you know? And putting God first, you know, that means that I had to, you know, I had to look at myself and say, no, this success is not man-made, it's God. That's why the album, the first album was called God Over Everything. How much work went into that album? A lot, a lot, because uh, now this is me coming from, um, this is me coming from the ghetto yeah. to mainstream and 
at that point, reggae wasn't even dancehall. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. not really yeah. Was a baby. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. We love we love dancehall music in Nigeria, but it's not highly practiced. You know, and that, at that point, the songs that were even shelling the whole place, then they were like 125 BPM, like pacey songs. Yeah. And how, how are you just coming? New artists, you're coming with a slow song, you know, but very strong. So when that one went in, I said, okay. I said, let me just up the tempo a bit. Then we did mm -hmm. Gelio. And Gelio went down, okay. okay. Yeah. You know, and then I think um, the third one was um, Happy Day. Mm -hmm. And I like, okay, people love his wedding. I said, okay, God, now you've taken me from nothing to something. Yeah. Now take me to another level. Then I dropped another level. You know, then, I said, good, okay. okay. Okay, we love, yeah, it's going, it's yeah. going. Then my woman, and like, for me, I was just making music, you know, and that, that was an interesting question <laughs> because I was just making music. I, yeah. I'm not going to come sit here and say, you know, this strategy, we like yeah, yeah. this, you know. So that, is, you that is a reality that sometimes I want to hear yeah. from the artists, you know, that yeah. there was a bit of uh, an element of opportunity and luck. Yes. That played. Grace. Grace. Yes. Yeah. What, what I pick from all of it, apart from the, all that, of course, but spiritual spirituality. Like the man, they, he's talking like hundred percent. Truth. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's deep spirituality. Like even another level to commit to that name alone. Exactly. And invest in that name. Dance hall comes with a certain level of aggression. Uh, I wouldn't want to say violence, but bad boy perception. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Bad, bad boy but how were you able to streamline yourself, not to, you know, let me put quote unquote, dirty yourself, to 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 be a dance hall artist in those yeah. times? I've always, um, I've always taken the part less traveled. You know, I've always chosen the part less traveled, and we can't all be doing the same thing. You know, I tell, I tell people sometimes, you're going into the marketplace, for example, there are so many entrances. You can go through entrance A, B, C, D, F, back door. You know, the bottom line is, we all want to buy something. Yeah. So however you're coming, just make sure you're passing the message. Mm. You know, that's, that's, yeah. that's my music for mm. me, you know. That's why sometimes you hear me singing in Pigeon, nobody will know fit to make them. Because vast majority understands Pigeon, yeah. and I want to advise Yes, I want to pass a message. You know, I'm not trying to sing for um, maybe the 20% of the population that can afford to go to the club on weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's already weekend. Yo, man, that, you know? that life is like my favorite life. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it, it, it's, um, you just need to apply some wisdom. You know, yeah. we try some, we fail. Not that we're perfect. Not that we don't make mistakes, but we make sure we gain knowledge when we leave these places. Well, there was one show where he stood before the crowd and then just when it got to that point where he said, I'm so excited, it's all the week, the crowd just sang it for him. I was just watching, he was like, <laughs> you know, I could imagine what was going through your mind at that minute, like, wow, like, wow, <laughs> thousands of people. <laughs> Man, that feeling is, it can't be explained. I can imagine. You know, th those, are, those are times we prayed for, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, it's, it's just... It's beautiful. What have been some of your most beautiful moments, you know, as an artist, if you can recall some of them okay. that you never forget? One of the biggest one was um, um, Tigo Fest in Kumasi. Wow. Yes. Back. Yeah, that was huge. That was, that was a big one. Wow. You know, and here's, here's, it. here's a backstory. Me leaving Ghana, you know, coming to Ghana, mm -hmm. trying to go to school in Ghana, okay. you know, folks saying, no, we're not financially buoyant, we can't afford it. And yeah, you're making us feel like, oh, and I'm up, like, big up GH, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, let me face music squarely, boom. And trying to tell people, listen, I'm the guy. I'm going to be a name someday. I'm going to be a household name. Listen to my music. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, nah, you know how it is. Yeah, the like, regular feedback. Exactly. Right? And I said, okay, they say charity begins at home. If it's not working in Ghana, let me go back home and give it a try back home and see. Went back home, did my thing, boom, came up. Okay, demand everywhere. Now we want a show in Ghana. And this was same Ghana, I remember, when I moved from Cape Coast to Accra. You know, I was actually staying on the street, sleeping on the street in Osu. 
Yeah. For real? Jeff, you, for, uh, you forget uh, uh, those, I, I, our XFM days, days you yeah. know? And like... I mean, I didn't stay with you in the night to no, see where you, you know, slept. Yeah, but this is, this is like, <laughs> like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So rain, come rain, come sunshine, we're there. And, okay, yeah. you know, like, and then now I'm coming back to the same country. And uh, when I got off the plane, I walked up. They said, this cars are here to pick you. I said, no, not be me. And I counted, it was about 13. I said, crazy me. feeling, eh? And you know, at that point, I just had, I think I had about two, three songs or four songs, yeah. You know? But for me, I just believe when it's your time, it's yours. Yeah. You know? Wow. On that day of the event, um, it was 12. Um, I, I was ready by, I think, around 11 p.m. I was waiting. You know? They said, no, it's not your time. 12. It's not your time. <laughs> One. It's not your time. Two. It's not your time. Three. Four. You know, I think shows. around four, five, five or there about. You know, that was when we got on stage. Wow. You know, and I said to myself, and the stadium was filled to the brim. I was like, nah, even if it's one of those people outside, international white people, you know, like big art, other artists, like the fans would be tired, you yeah. know, but everywhere was packed, you know. I remember getting on that stage and yeah. I was performing with the teary eyes. You know, I was literally crying. I was like, yeah, God, wow. like, no, is this me? Wow. Is this happening? You know, and leaving, <laughs> leaving, the, leaving, leaving the stadium was another thing, you know. Wow. Like, that was one major highlight for me. Like street life, you Just know. to start on. And I'm not, I'm not saying this because I'm in Ghana, you know. I'm That's not, the truth. Yeah, I'm not saying this because I'm in Ghana. Like it's a real story. For, for those that knows, actually knows that that moment, that, was one, that was one for the book. Wow. Know? Wow. I mean, I'm, I'm proud to hear you speak about that moment because, um, you know, just considering the fact that I, I, it, it could have been any other moment, but yeah. it's just being in almost disbelief yeah, of, yeah. wow, is this what the I did big, without though. even me knowing I did this? Yeah. You know, the contrast is big. But is. Cyril, that brings up a conversation that we're having up with regards to uh, environment and the effect it has on you. I yeah, mean, not yeah, to. Yeah. What magic did Nigeria do to Patu Ranking? Yeah, definitely home is home. You know, we're not gonna take it away. You know, um, you know the feeling of this is this is this is where I'm from. You know. I know a lot of people say this a lot, like, I'd rather be arrested at home <laughs> than abroad, you know? <laughs> yeah, and there are some things you can't change. Mm -hmm. Just like some, the Jamaicans do say, dance a yard before you dance abroad, you know? So home is home. Mm. So home would always be home, you know? Um, way before I even, um, before I became part, I remember I was, conquering the underground scene, collabos, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and I didn't know I was actually building foundation, mm -hmm. you know, my foundation, like, and it was firm, and that's home, mm -hmm. you know, so home would always be that. So there was, was there a, f a support, a fan base support, you know, that, that made it, because we had party ranking, and I'm saying yeah. we had because, I mean, yeah. for someone who lived the streets of this country yeah. and was exported back home, yeah. If your home is imported, yeah, and then exported to Ghana if you're here, yeah, yeah, yeah. As and a finished came, product, as a finished product, you know, like this, like yeah, how we lose Pato, it. What, what, what was the um, the main differentiator? Was it the talent that you had, and it was more received well? Was it management? Was it the availability of investment and people who understood the business? Because this question, till 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 you will be asked, because you were you are a seed that grew in two places, yeah, right. But we saw you flourish in one side so everybody yeah. has that no it, it, to be honest it, it, um, it, it's just like saying um, a child that just woke up you know he left the house then he 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 made something for himself and came back home and you're saying okay how was it you know there's one is instrumental to one you know and i would say i was already a star in my ghetto before i left and um, I remember leaving Lagos when I was 17, mm. you know. Um, I learned a lot about the culture, that's the dancehall culture here, mm -hmm. you know, here in Ghana. 
which was, you know, like when dancehall, dancehall was still dancehall, dancehall here, yeah. reggae, yeah. you know, yeah, reggae was it here. Yeah. And we're talking about 2007, you know that yeah, times, yeah. Yeah. you know, you know, you know how it is on yeah. the on the streets, <laughs> you know, and I had to go back home and say, okay, yes, I think charity begins at home. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to make, like, I, need, I needed to see it from another side. Because at that point, I was trying to tell people who I was back here. And um, I was like, okay, you, okay. I wouldn't say um, it, was when I le it was when I left Ghana, everything mm -hmm. happened. No, I just believe it was timing. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't my time. You know, all those while I was trying to tell people who I was, it wasn't my time. And not that when I went to Nigeria was when everything came up. Pff, no. I went back to Nigeria um, 2010. You know, I was going back and forth. And I, I had a song. I recorded Albarica 2012. Mm -hmm. And it came out 2013. You know, so I needed to wait. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, journey. yeah, it was. I was also convincing a lot of people back home in Nigeria. You know, for me, I never used to see it as Nigeria or Ghana. It's just home for me. Mm. You know, and this is not me being diplomatic because I, I learned a lot. I mm. learned, you know, um, um, if I'm to put if I'm to put it in a context, um, born in Nigeria, you know, Nigeria raised me. Um, Ghana shaped me. Yeah. You know, came back home to Nigeria, you know, yeah. did the damn thing. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, took it global. Yeah. You know, so like everywhere was instrumental to 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 the success it was like a cocktail yeah every it, section it, it, found its own inspiration and its own input exactly the brand. i think you might be the best person to answer this uh it's a bit of a tough question so you know ghana and nigeria are two great friendly countries you know there's the 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 love between the two countries is just is just i don't think any two countries i don't even think the us and canada have got the is it is it is, it, is, it, is it, it jealous boyfriend and girlfriend and situation? Yeah, you know what that's it i think that's a jealous <laughs> boyfriend and girlfriend affair yeah. you know we we love each other at the same time yes we have all these little battles between ourselves these exactly. social wars so for for you um how do you see how how should we do it you know, when I say how should we do it, in reference to getting our... Yes, we do have artists that have gone global, but we want more artists to go global, okay. you know. So how should we do it? And do, do Nigerians see Ghanaian artists as international artists, just like how we see Nigerian artists? I beg to say, we see yeah. some Nigerian artists as international artists. Maybe because we are in there, we don't see yeah. it. Okay, let me... Let me there's this um, simple explanation I do give, and, and I think in my own knowledge, it's best explained. Nigeria is a population of 200 million people. Mm. More than okay. 200 million people. Yeah. And how many is Ghana? Uh, yeah, 30, I guess. 30. Like okay, that's just, that's, that's the whole of Lagos. <laughs> yeah, that <was> Okay, so <laughs> professionally, we have 1 million people, over 1 million people that sings in Nigeria, that it's a job, mm -hmm. over. But let's say a million people professionally that sings. You know, before, back in the days, you, you can just wake up and tell the director, yo, I want to shoot a video. And they tell you, okay, we'll shoot in three days. Now, you call a director, you have to wait two, three weeks. Mm, mm. He's, every, he's busy. Yeah. Business he's shooting right. for, if he's shooting tomorrow for mm -hmm. someone, he, he's shooting for someone he told two weeks ago, two weeks. <laughs> Next day, somebody else, two weeks. So it's, it's, it's highly more, competitive. It's more, yeah. yeah. Faster than mm -hmm. and grow here. Now, if you check the number of artists here. Yeah. If you have one million people that sings professionally, how many people do you have that sings professionally? Mm -hmm. Jeffoli, you can help me. I get you. Right, I can I help you. me with the answer. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So it's a much lesser number. So yeah, much lesser yeah. number. Yeah. So now, if you're saying um, you have how many artists on the international scene, now let's check how many artists are signed to the majors. They are not even up to 10 from Nigeria. We don't have up to 10 Niger. No. Okay. Mm. Mm. Let me. Okay, we don't have up to. Let me be fair. We don't have up to 20 Nigerian artists signed to the major, major. If you check. Yeah. Proper. Yeah. Signed to the major labels. Mm -hmm. And how many have, have gone global, global? You know them. Yeah. You know, so the same thing implies to the Francophone scene. It's like people from Togo saying um, 
what are the people in Congo doing? The population of Congo is about 100 and something million people. Mm -hmm. And Togo is about 2 million people. Yeah. So how many people sing in Togo? You can't keep up. How many musicians do you have in Togo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Can't compare the few. numbers, yeah. Yeah, as compared to Togo. So you have, uh, as compared to Congo. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to the francophone sound, you have more Congolese people dominating the scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, I, I think that's a fair so it's, it's answer. An, it's a give of for me, I feel it's yeah. a number. It's when you asked the question, I was expecting some answer. Yeah, but I think and you wrote it down nicely with the... And broke it down in Excel. <laughs> I like and, that. And, and, yeah. and guess what? You people see us, you see Nigerians like, oh yeah, you have a lot. We don't have a lot there. We are not there. Yeah. As compared to yeah. um, um, the Latinos. Mm -hmm. Check the Latinos. The numbers are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. So we're not even there yet. Even as yeah. Africans, if, we never catch, yeah. you know, but we, we just need to understand that it's a number situation. If reverse was to be the case, Ghana was 200 million people, it would Nigeria, have it would still be the same. The thing. same yeah. We will be complaining. So now numbers play a key role here. Now, um, I, I'm, when I heard you do the, the, the new song, your new song, uh, Kolo Kolo, yeah. with uh, Diamond Platinums, I yeah. said, okay, wait, this guy's up to some business. Maybe East Africa is the next place to hit in. What, am, I, am I right or wrong? No, no, I've, I've, I've always been, I've always, East Africa is home. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I got a good fan base there. It's home for me. Wow. From Kenya to Tanzania to Rwanda to anywhere you want to think of. Mm. But this is take two with Diamond. Yeah, this yeah. takes two with Diamond. Time. We, we we we've got we've got tons of songs. I'm not gonna lie. So me and Diamond we okay. have a behind the scene relationship okay. music that is not outside. Yeah. So we got songs. Charlie Chow songs day. What's that disease with artists when they have the songs but they just don't want to put it there? Like <laughs> I know, passion is like they created something but they're obsessed about it. Put it out. <laughs> you know? Yes. Put it out. Diamond. Put it out. <laughs> talk, talk us through the making of this song, Kolo Kolo. Like I mean, I I love the video. Thank you very much. Qualities of Kolo Kolo. Um, Crazy, crazy, mad, yeah. mad, you know? I did color for your love, I did mad for your love. You know, just me, you know, speaking as usual, you know? Mm -hmm. Voice of the voiceless, like the song implies. I did color for your love. How do you see the, how do you see the performance? I mean, 2.75 million views, six days. How, 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 I mean, the song is dope, right? And the fan base is ready, but there's got to be some fire behind I that. I could calculate the YouTube numbers for you. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, YouTube, yeah. the YouTube, the YouTube we, we earnings. I could calculate that one for you. <laughs> to, be, to, to, to be honest, is it, is it marketing? Is it mechanics? Is it just the regular promo? I mean, my brother, for me, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, music is the only business I know. Yeah. You know, and today, if I have a billion, will I put it into music? Yes, I will, because music gave me a billion, yeah. you know. Um, I just feel it's never enough, no matter how much you invest in your, whatever you do that you love, creatively mm -hmm. or, you know, it's business at the end of the day. And if I would get more when I put more, mm -hmm. why wouldn't I, you know? So it's just the biz biz like basic business, business model that we're following, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, which is, yeah, exactly. Doing promo, pushing, marketing mm. you know um i'm an independent artist mm -hmm. it's tough you know we want to do the big things i want to do the big things i want to do the big numbers but sometimes um you have some constraints like financially like so there's a limit you can do mm -hmm. so the limit i can do is what i'm doing yeah. but, but if i get, <laughs> if, you get 100 billion. if i get rocket launcher <laughs> I go shoot up. Since you mentioned a real, our time is almost up, but since you mentioned uh, labels, um, is this something that if Party Ranking got a label, you know, because we've heard sometimes labels sometimes yeah. you know they approach, they, yeah. they, 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 they lock suppress. you down, they suppress you. Would you would you want to be, get signed to a label? Yeah, why wouldn't I if if it's right? Okay. Yeah, if 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 it's um, where right means the money, right? No the system. It might not be the money. Just going to bed without having to worry myself you know creative freedom hmm. um being happy you know making music the way i want to just you know living that dream there is no we're not we're not changing anything mm -hmm. you know nothing is being touched like rather making me a better person mm -hmm. those are the things i'm looking for so if it's there why won't i mm -hmm. you know i would love someone to carry this weight as well yeah that's 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 like every artist real yeah. big dream the yeah. enabling environment 
to push the vision. But like with your new album that you're working on, right? How do you know I'm working on a new yeah, album? Well, <laughs> bro, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, here, this right? guy, who yeah. tell you? We wouldn't be sitting here. We have to know, <laughs> like. What I mean, the producer <laughs> stop snitching on me. <laughs> the, the <laughs> I mean, we're all we're all we're all amped up, right? We're all ready. We're all hyped. Like, what 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 are we what are we to look out for? I know you definitely next next level, right? So yeah, we've seen the elevation. What what what's what's coming next? You see, I I I always want to be a better version of myself. Mm. You know, you watch football, right? Yeah. So you know you're as good as your last result. Yeah. If that is my business model. I don't go. I didn't go to school, so I just look at football and I take it, take what I see from watching football and I put in the music. You know, so you're as good as your last result. The day you don't score, you're sad. Yeah. You want to win. You want to win titles. You want to win cup. Yeah, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. That is what we're doing on this one. I just want to drop better music. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to be happier. You know. I'm in a space where everything feels good, you know, the energy is right. The energy has always been right, you yeah. know. And this time we just want to make sure we are we are we're doing something different. Expect what to expect. Hmm. If I've given you fire, then you get fire times four. Ouch. No, 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 let me bend. It can bend, I'm gonna be comfortable. So wow. Wow. I mean, our time is fast spent on this, but um, it's been amazing, you know, time having you Thanks, uh, man. here. Uh, for us, Thanks. we, I think the next thing, we just have to keep him in Ghana because yeah, I mean, this yeah. one, oh, officially, the guy, there's no keeping him, Na- he's from Niger, here. Niger, officially, Pato Rankin is, <laughs> you've sealed it. Daniel, you've sealed it. No, no, no. I know where I go take the passport. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Now just oh. made and give my passport. Yeah. Now just make... President Nana call me, me and give my passport. And that, that's it. Now now we're going to go like, you know, to, to Ghanaian artists represent. Yeah, yeah Ghan- Ghanaian 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 artists. I think we should see, we should see what, what will happen on social media when we do something like that. kill us all, Ghana. <laughs> it's no, 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 no. Ghana, Ghana is home. And you're not going to, you, you, you can't deny the fact yeah. that we Nigerians, we love Ghanaians. Yeah. You know, it's, um, I don't know, how, I don't know how I want to put it, but it's a it's a boyfriend and girlfriend yeah, jealous situation. Je- very jealous. Mm, you know, Fight I, small, I love you, small. but no, no, no. You can't go out looking like that. And I'm saying no. You can't tell me what to do. I'll go out like that. I say you can't go out. And you say no. I will go out. You know, it's that kind of situation. But at night, you guys are cool and you know. Yeah. Well, it's all it's good. It's all thing. love, man. Yeah, it's all love. It's, it's all, all love. love. We had a very good one, a good conversation here with Patarang. He's a busy man. It's a brand new single that's out there. Go check it out. It's making Africa pop like crazy. Uh, you can catch more flashes on his page on IG like I was doing this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Go and check it out. Go and check it out. I love it. I love the videos I was seeing. Oh, real quickly, um, yo, that lady you posted on your page, Charlie, like, some lady being carried on somebody's neck or some. So I'm going. I'm going there when once we're off air. Man, my once brother. Once we are off air, on that he for sure. <laughs> my love is bigger than the ocean. Ocean. <laughs> for your skin like a lotion. Loving you is my devotion. Give you girl full potion. Baby, I the colo for your love. Colo colo. I the mad for your love. Yo, go check it out. Boom 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 boom. Go boom, check, boom. It check it out. Tell it done done. Yeah, done deal, man. Thanks. Hey, I think that next is coffee, right? Yeah. 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 We're going to bring her. We are out. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers mate. <laughs> you know why they laugh? Now. I know why they laugh. <laughs> yeah, we bring the air now. <laughs> Thanks, man. Is it no love? Oh, if it's nice, nice, nice. man, this is one of my.